Vice Etika from the Etika World Network here. Today, we are going to be talking about King K. Rule because there's apparently something going around that's making people believe that he's confirmed for Smash. Now, of course, I know I'm usually about the sensationalist stuff. I usually jump on top of this pre-hype stuff all the time, but we have to look at this from a serious note. Now, there is a slight tinge of slightly convincing evidence, and you know, I know I use slightly two times, man. You don't, you don't got any for me, man. I use my dick two times. You, you want to criticize me on that? Anyways, um, I've used my dick two times, and we are here at this post now. Now, I want to give a big shout out to Void, Plasma Void, for showing me this. This is a thread that erupted on Reddit recently of somebody making an observation that might surprise you. So, for now, let's take a look at this. And also, this will be linked in the description, as usual, with all my bullshit. Let's go into this right now. So, I'm going to go to the Reddit thread, and we have a couple of other things to look at as well, too, that some people are bringing up as a, mm, maybe this is real, maybe it ain't. I don't know. Let's take a look. So, this is also a thread by Chrome... Chrome? 66 chrome 66 chrome 66 either way he has those cena um little avatar there so anyways oh actually let's zoom in a little bit as well too so you guys can so you niggas can read it a little bit you know uh, you ain't guys you my niggas um anyway so um i recently found an interesting piece of information on the meverse someone stated that in the official virtual console description of dk jungle climber which was released yesterday there is a trademark symbol right next to king k rule's name now, King K. Rool hasn't made an appearance since 2008's Mario Super Sluggers for the Wii, so why do they suddenly have a new trademark symbol appearing next to his name? There is no trademark in the original Virtual Console description for Donkey Kong Country, despite his name being featured there. Interesting. Could Nintendo be planning something with him? He's currently one of the most popular characters for the Smash Valley. And, um, well, you know what? I want to come up to my conclusions first before we read the comments because I want to see what some of these people are saying. Maybe they have more information that could potentially confirm this or deconfirm it. Either way, now, the fact that they're using the trademark suddenly when it wasn't used beforehand in um, Donkey Kong Country's previous title, um, that's, that's a little bit strange. Apparently, it is um, King K. Rool has not made an appearance since 2008's Mario Super Sluggers. Why do they suddenly have a new trademark symbol appearing next to his name? And there's no trademark in the original virtual console description for Donkey Kong Country. So, you know what, I can understand why this is somewhat of a of an eyebrow raiser in a sense, because suddenly now they're treating the King K. Rule name as if it's special, we know it's trademark now, so maybe they're seeking out something with him. I can understand the reasoning behind it, and even though some people will say, no way, Etika, still, consider the fact that D um, King K. Rule is definitely the most popular, or one of the most popular characters in that ballot, as was mentioned here, so maybe because Nintendo foresees the popularity of him, let's just be real here. They already have their results, and I don't think anyone on the internet has an official result sheet for who the hell is the best or the top in the ballot, because Nintendo hasn't released that yet. Only Nintendo knows who's running the ballot right now. We don't. We just have guesses. We can do our own fan polls, but at the end of the day, we don't know the numbers that are truly sent to Nintendo. Um, but it's definitely obvious that King K. Rule is one of the most popular characters, and Nintendo, in anticipating this, they may be saying, well, you know what? If King K. Rule does win this ballot, Let's make sure that we at least have everything, you know, set in stone with him. We have the trademark down and all that because he has a very good chance of winning it. And the ballot doesn't end until October, dude. So maybe potentially we're, we could see a win by the king himself, man. It, it's definitely a possibility. And if we can acknowledge it as being a possibility, then you're damn sure that Nintendo is acknowledging it as well, too. So this could be a move in that regard. But you got to let me know what you think in the comments. Let's take a look at what some people are saying below, though. So... Compatible King K. Rule Amiibo with Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze Party for Nintendo Wii U. That sounds like a goddamn great package, dude. Featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. <laughs> and Knuckles, of course. Why not? Uh, that sounds great. Buy both the Wii U and 3DS version for free Mewtwo Amiibo DLC. That sounds great. At the Olympic Games, Turbo Edition DX Awakening, more Knuckles for Wii U 64. Nigga, that sounds like the best title to drop from Nintendo's ass since fucking since Nintendo's conception, and they didn't even start off as a gaming company. Um, that was a mouthful. Director's cut. Um, leave it to the internet to notice these subtle ass things. Good job, guys. To be honest, um, well, let's read some more. Let's read some more serious comments and not some like joking shit because these people are fucking around in the comments. We're trying to actually gain something interesting for the news and knowledge of this video, guys. Come on, man. Stop fucking around in the comments. Um, then again, it's me saying that when I had probably the most wild comment section of all my friends. Probably. It's not like Nintendo's actually going to sit and wait until October to start working on the new characters. The ending date of the ballot will most likely be used to announce a character or multiple characters, so 
That's an interesting perspective from Gandiza because what he's saying is it's not like they're going to wait until October when the release, uh, I mean, excuse me, when the ballot ends and then say, okay, let's count up the results and see what character we're working on. Like, no. If they have an overwhelming amount of votes for a certain character right now as we speak, then that character is probably going to win. If they have King K. Rool trademark, it could be somewhat of a sign, guys. I'm just saying. The potential is definitely there, and I think we should all get to the used to the idea that King K. Rool might just be winning that shit. I really wanted someone like Shantae or Rayman to win, but the possibility for King K. Rool seems like it's a lot more realistic with the sudden trademark of his name. Hey man, Nintendo's probably preparing themselves in case he does win the ballot, although I really hope that there is somebody that's competing with him with a close second or whatnot, because, I don't know, I mean, King K. Rool is a cool character and all, I respect him as a character from his series and as a villain character, but he's not who I want to win. I want someone else to win, but I mean, still, if he wins, it'll be interesting either way. Um, exactly, if he is so far ahead of the other nominations, I see no point in waiting. They can announce the additional ballot character when it ends. Um, there's one rumor about David Wise working on something for Nintendo. David Wise, I'm guessing maybe he's the voice actor, or maybe he's some, I don't know. Um, so, let's see here. Former Rare co- um, Composer David Wise is working on an unannounced Nintendo title, so the timing seems perfect. If King K. Rule was coming to Smash, it's only natural that they would work on a few extra remixes for the, Di for the DK series, like they remixed Street Fighter for Ryu. So who knows, maybe when the August update for Tourneys and hopefully the YouTube feature for replays drops, we might have a little direct with his reveal. Guys, I think that sets it in stone, man. We didn't read through too many comments in this one, but I'm sure a lot of you guys have pretty much come to the same conclusion that I have, and that these guys have. It's a very, it's a very solid possibility, and because the ballot can include anyone and anybody at any time, we potentially could be seeing King K. Rule make his return um, to for, to the forefront of gaming for Nintendo, because um, his inclusion in Smash Brothers would be the first time he's been included in a game in quite a goddamn while. There's a reason to be excited about this, guys. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below, and I will talk to you dudes in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.